Craig, thank you. Tonight, tragedy on a local highway. A teenager's car is cut off by two hit and run drag racers, but it's when she gets out of the car after the crash that she loses her life. Now, safety officials are hoping her story can help prevent similar tragedies. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live for us in Davie with the story. Natalia? Well, that young woman was traveling here on 595. This accident now ripped her away from her family and her future. Like a beautiful girl, girl friendly. Kind words for a young girl with a future that was stolen from her. 18 year old Julie Castor was killed Wednesday night. It started when two cars were racing down 595 westbound near State Road 441. At some point, one of those vehicles cut her off. She lost control and hit the wall in the median. She diverted back across to the, the shoulder on the north side and hit that wall and came to rest sort of in the emergency lane in the outside lane. As the racing vehicle sped away, Julie got out of her mangled car, but later decided to walk back to it. That's when another driver hit her, killing her. That driver stopped. I'm devastated to hear it again, the mm -hmm. same story. Julie's former neighbor, Daniel Dodsworth, says she is the third person he's known to die in a similar way, hit on the highway after an accident. I was stunned. Uh, but it's all so common. So what should you do if something like this happens to you? According to the Florida Highway Patrol, the first thing is to take a moment to assess your situation. If your vehicle's on the shoulder and off the roadway, you can sit in the car. If you want to get out of the car, if, if you don't feel safe and you want to get out of the car, and you can get to the opposite side of a guardrail or a wall where, where there's some other place of safety. The key, though, is that barrier between you and traffic, and your disabled vehicle is not a good option as a buffer if you're outside of it. And you don't want to stand behind it or directly in front of it or directly behind it, because if a car comes, it's going to hit you and your car, or it's going to hit your car and then you. Words of caution as a community says goodbye to a young girl. An investigator searched for the drag racing drivers whose actions led to her death. And in response to Julie's death, the Western High School Japanese Club sent out this tweet saying she was such a dedicated member and kind individual. Rest in peace, Julie. We miss you. Another Twitter user wrote, illegal car racing is so dangerous and not to be taken lightly. Julie, I am so sorry this happened to you. Rest in peace, Julie. Now, police are looking for the two drag racers who caused all of this. Now, they know that one of them was driving a Ford Mustang. They think it may have been green. The other car, some kind of sports car, dark colored, possibly charcoal gray. If you have any information that can help, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. So sad, Natalia. Thank you for that.